TV are going to talk about a story uh, about a brainwash. Uh, I, I just I did a summer uh, soul searching and thinking, uh, and uh, I just want to just think about it. How did this brainwash thing? And how did that happen? In what kind of environment will happen people effectively? And then how were affected to rest of it, those people's life? Uh, so, you know, I went to the, 50 years ago, I went to this re-education camp. So we went together. It's about 1,000 um, people in the same train. And, uh, and so we, our... Uh, in the one uh, village, and we have uh, about 35 people together. So after that many years, we still conquered each other and uh, and just uh, wanted to update the, uh, everybody's life. And uh, most of people, uh, in the 35 people, most are still living in China, and some are uh, in uh, out of the China and the U.S. and Canada and some uh, in Australia, New Zealand, and uh, some even uh, in uh, England and, and France and Germany. Anyway, so all over the world. And uh, recently we decided that uh, we're going to, in Chinese New Year, we haven't seen each other for a long time, especially this COVID, you know, we're not able to go back to China or to see those people uh, get together. So we decided to have a Zoom meeting because this is Zoom software is only a few software and Chinese government allowed they to download because, you know, their software was controlled by uh the Chinese government, anyway. So uh, we decided to have a Zoom meeting before this, and uh, I received a photo, and uh, and about five people, and from my village, and uh, they went to visit uh, one person, and he used to be head of our uh, this group, and uh, his name is a bride, and. Um, uh, but it's not that bright, actually. The reason is, you know, um, we, not because we elected him as uh, a leader and because uh, um, his uh, social uh, status, uh, the family background, uh, is uh, leading class at that time in China because uh, most of people uh, we went together, this group, uh, and all the and enemies, uh, children, so uh, all intellectual people, or business owner, or whatever it is, and uh, his father is a cable car drive driver, so is qualified for the uh, working class. Even though it's not a working factory, but they still is a working class. So that's why they designated him uh, as uh, a leader, and uh, then somehow. And they make uh, our group, the village, as a model camp. So the model camp, you have to select a, a person and to go to Beijing and uh, to see Mao. So he's the one descended to Beijing and to see Mao. So uh, I'm talking about the the, the um, brainwash things. You know, at the beginning, and uh, I think... Uh, we live in the place because the communism, you know, they wanted to control people. So we don't hear anything else but the, whatever the propaganda is, or the newspaper, or the radio. That time is no TV, the radios, or whatever, or just one voice, everything, just one. And uh, uh, so when we grow up in that, that's the only thing we know. We don't know anything about outside the world. And when we go to that the village, it was very near Burma. And so somehow, you know, we from Shanghai, Shanghai people in the big city, you know, all, and so they still is more informed than the people living in, in the uh, England. And so 
we know there's either because of our parents or, or the grandparents or the relationship uh, the, uh, the overseas. And also, uh, Shanghai was uh, uh, talking about things, the open world become, becoming an uh, uh, open port. And so as uh, all the different countries, and they have uh, this conception there. And so those influences, they never go away. So we know have other countries we have. So it's very close to Burma, so we can hear BBC. So we all have the radio, has short waves, so maybe you can listen to it. So we at least know something about that, but it's dangerous. It's also a criminal. And uh, so we not uh, not publicly we can uh, uh, listen to it. And uh, But anyway, major thing we receive the information. It's just all propaganda. So whatever they want to brainwash you. But that's the only thing you know. So you keep repeating, repeating. Even if it's a lie, you will believe it. it's the truth. All right, so this guy was selected to go to uh, see Mao and to Beijing. So it's very honorable things. And uh, then um, before he went Beijing to see Mao, and uh, he just uh, an ordinary person. And uh, uh, if brainwash, you say that you know the same as the word being brainwashed, they're almost the same, the levels. And uh, when he come back uh, to uh, from Beijing, everything changed because. Uh, he never washed his hand. He put a glove on. He said because the mouth shake his head, so uh, people had to the, the, the kids standing in line and wanted to shake his hand because they shake with mouth. Now I didn't stand there now because I said it was kind of silly, but I I don't can not there to say anything, you know. And then he started acting uh, real. I mean, talking about it's like a, he thinks that he also is a god. Or at least a car sender or something, and uh, so uh, he constantly he's not working anymore. He think that he he's a leader now. He doesn't have to work. So after we work, we retire. He's constantly looking for the people, and he think that should the discipline us whoever didn't do right to so criticize him. So he always have the conversation. And they say, oh, i make an appointment with you after work. I want to talk to you, something about it. Uh, also, meanwhile, I think that he was uh, chasing a girl. And I, he was make a lot of point with uh, the girl. This is a I, I think uh, after about 40 years or something, I went back to China. We had a reunion. So I went and uh, invited him. Uh, and uh, then a couple of girls stand up and say, they again so he said, if you invite him, we're not going to come in. I said, why, why? He said, because before he was sexually harassed then. You know, the saying was talking about the, the have a conversation with them and uh, basically try to harass them or something. So I didn't, I didn't know that, so I didn't invite him. Some uh, uh, boys, they said, how can you didn't invite our uh, leader? Or something. I said, well, because they said uh, three or four girls, they re- refused. They say if I invite him, uh, they not come in. So that's why we never met him. And uh, the couple of days ago, I saw the picture. I was shocked because he looked like uh, at least uh, 20 years older than us. He's in wheelchair, and uh, he was. I think he got a stroke or something. And uh, they will show the one of the picture. They show him uh, the book, you know, the photo book we, we, they just recently published. And uh, he, I, I look at his face. I think he didn't know anything. And maybe get outside or something, you know. It's just horrible. So what happened is that things that he being, he went to see the mall. He, you know, being absolutely hundred percent brainwashed. And he thinks uh, he's a godsend, so he's not working. And uh, at that time, uh, they, because he's a Communist Party member, they accept him. But they make him, a, uh, give him a job in the, uh, not counting, I think there's some kind of, uh, is a uh, provincy, uh, some uh, office, and to in charge uh, uh, this uh, 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 education uh, group or something. So you get a good position. And uh, so it's okay. They, and uh, also, he married to uh, uh, 
propaganda performing group, a dancer, very beautiful girl, and she's a, a Thai minority uh, group. And so it uh, seems like uh, he has a, a wonderful life. Then what's happened is uh, and, uh, the, after this uh, um, Mao died, and uh, Mao's wife and uh, and General Four, you know, they've been arrested. So everything changing because uh, uh, the Chairman Deng and uh, started this uh, uh, new uh, changing reforms. And uh, so the the bigger government they had to lay off lots of people. So his department, I think, uh, they don't need it. So they closed, and uh, so he lost a job. But at that time. Uh, and they have a chance to go back to Shanghai. I already left uh, China, so I'm not really know the details. Anyway, he got back to Shanghai, but he has no job, and with his wife and little girl, and he's not uh, working because at that time, Chairman Deng was saying, "Is you can do anything, you can do your start your own business or whatever it is." He said, "Just uh, let uh, some people getting rich uh, first." getting rich fast or whatever it is that time. and uh, But he didn't want to do anything. They end up, uh, because he still believed, I think I've been brainwashed that long, he still believed uh, and he was shaking hand with the mouth, so he should uh, be uh, recognized and give him a job. And uh, then he gave him uh, some kind of uh, position. So he still dream about that. So end up and um, has no money, and uh, cannot uh, uh, to support his wife and the kid, so the wife left him, uh, and uh, so uh, went to uh, the Shenzhen, which is a, uh, the some uh, special economy zone, and uh, to doing the business or whatever. Eventually, the divorce, so he all by himself, and um, but uh, he was uh, get really poor. And, and nothing, and uh, so he had started like a, you know, they had this gambling cracker that fighting. So he think uh, when he was young, he know how to feed the cracker and the crackers, and uh, they fighting. So he got getting into this gambling things and make uh, some money and to support himself. So basically, uh, since then, uh, he never able to do anything, and uh, he, until his parents die. And they have some old house, and uh, the government wanted to uh, tore it down and uh, give some compensation because it's in Thai, Shanghai is rebuilt. So they gave his money, some money, so he had to move away to kind of far away. And uh, then his daughter come back, and the saying is that he never do anything for her, so it's a time for her to get uh, uh, something back. So forced him to sell the house, and then uh, move him far away to the countryside, and then uh, the daughter is get married and, uh, and live in his place. And uh, so just uh, at the beginning, I think because he got a stroke and he said, at the beginning he didn't uh, didn't know what to do and nobody taking care of him. At the beginning, his daughter still. Uh, to, uh, they have this, you know, deliver service to deliver a meal to him. Uh, eventually, they sent him far and far away, and uh, so only deliver maybe uh, once a month or something. And uh, so he just uh, always either left over that sometimes no food in just horrible situation. So the people uh, we went to commute together. And the, the, they still go there once in a while, like a Chinese New Year or some holidays, uh, uh, Moon Festival, or something, they go to see him. Just getting worse and worse, you know, the situation is just unbelievable. But the, he's still, he never changing his uh, dream. And he still uh, believe uh, whatever being brainwashed, uh, he thinks uh, he deserves to have a better life and because he was shaking hands with the mouth. So, you know, that's the story I want to tell you about that. And uh, uh, after 9-11, I think I keep thinking, you know, because they said this terrorist was uh, being, being 
brainwashed. But the summer, they were uh, in the place totally isolated, like uh, I went to a place in China. We don't know anything with the outside. But some people were educated in the West. So why they want to be a terrorist? It, it, how did they be brainwashed, radicalized? I think uh, uh, mostly I saw uh, one movie which was very real, talking about is they make you uh, want to be an icon to a martyr, whatever. So you you get this idea, so you become a radicalized. So that's what I, I just uh, uh, wanted to talk about today. <laughs> 